So we'll do our GT3 winners from here in Mojello, but more importantly, we'll talk to our 2024 Michelin Le Mans Cup driver champions. Guys, congratulations. Brilliant place to do it, you know, home of Ferrari, home of uh, AF Corsa. Um, excellent job. So, Matt, how do you feel? Pretty good. Uh, pretty simple, but like uh, every race that we've gone to this season, um, for me, it's been go and just focus on what we do. Uh, we are a competitor um, that uh, just go out and execute, no penalties, no problems. And um, I think we've done that here, and I think that's contributed a lot to our success. Uh, Alessandro has done a great job uh, uh, teaching me and working with me over the years, and I owe you that to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Because um, if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here, in the car and out of the car. Right, we'll talk about the, the race. Obviously, your third win of the season, which is brilliant, brilliant. So the start, you were, I think you started second on the grid, um, but you got into the lead, I think, in the first or second corner. So talk us through that start and talk us through your stint up where the four course yellows and that sort of thing. Yeah, uh, start, uh, it was pretty clean in the beginning. Um, the uh, Aston, I don't know what happened. Uh, they're uh, leaking a bit of oil to start, but then um, it uh, he didn't get a good start, get a good launch. Um, so uh, just trying, it feels like all eyes are on us. So starting at that point, uh, kind of drug the brake a bit, make sure it didn't cross the line or get too far of a jump on him, uh, just try and keep it fair. Um, get to the first corner and uh, the LMP traffic was probably the worst we've experienced yet. Um, found uh, and I believe that's where he got in trouble a little bit as he was stuck on the inside and I had room on the outside to drive around the LMPs where he had to hang out. Uh, Custodio also got a good start there. Um, and after that I was navigating uh, P3 traffic a lot and uh, full course yellows came about um, and just making sure that kept everything clean. As an American, how would it feel to come over here? When you're not the first American to win a EMS or a Michelin Le Mans Cup title, but it must be very nice to come over here and uh, over to Europe and actually win over here as well as win in, win in the States. Absolutely. Um, I, uh, it, it increases the importance of winning this championship um it, doing it in the u.s then uh, is always good but then uh often you hear the debate of is the racing better in the u.s or in europe um and uh different uh, so coming here in aco uh, the rules uh are different so um i'm more comfortable now i've kind of gotten comfortable with the series the rules what what to expect whereas before uh, um, a fish out of water so uh, kind of uh, one step at a time but uh, it all worked out well obviously we got Portimao next that uh, puts takes the pressure off because it's just for the race now isn't it yeah yeah uh, I'm excited for Portimao it reminds me a lot of uh, one of my other favorite tracks I think it's difficult uh, probably because of uh, the terrain blind corners and um, very little reference on uh, how to drive and where to drive and, um, and naturally I think that's where I'll probably do well execute well um, Dubai is one place that uh, we go to we've been to previously and uh, very similar in the aspect of no references and breaking turn in points so uh, I think uh, I'm excited for it Portimao uh, beautiful so yeah pressure's off but uh, we still have one more race left there's six out of six and um, still need to do the same thing, thing that we've done yeah Alessandro, you brought the car home, but I need to talk to you. you i just become aware. You weren't even aware of what happened in the pit stop, but what happened in that pit stop from your point of view? Oh, I got the release and everything was good, but then when I was uh, towards the end uh, of the pit lane, um, a P3 really, you know, was coming out of his uh, pit, and uh, I had to jump on the brake to avoid contact, so I was very proactive doing that. If Otherwise, I think there was a, a, a contact, but I was already on the fast lane, so I was good, but... You know, we had the big, bigger picture, so instead of damaging the car, jump on the brake and said, you know, whatever, you know, we are still long race to go. And, you know, Mugello is pretty special, you know, it was, uh, uh, I, I never had great luck here, but, uh, you know, last year, I think almost basically one year ago, Matt asked me to share uh, the challenge car in, here in the Italian uh, GT Cup uh, series, and that was our very first race uh, together, sharing a car, because up to that point, I was coaching him in the Ferrari Challenge, and... Uh, 
we did the, our first race. We actually won, so you know, on a Saturday. So Mugello is, is being very good to us. You know, it's very special doing this with the driving a, a, a Ferrari 296-83. More special doing that with AF Corsi and uh, representing the 51. So today is a very good day. Very, very grateful for the opportunity that uh, Matt gave me this season. I didn't have a full season ride for a long time, but uh, it's fun. Uh, our our teammate put a lot of pressure on us, so it's, uh, it's, uh, it's good, you know, to be challenged, and uh, it's, uh, I still love driving, you know, every lap, and uh, it's, it's great, you know, this championship uh, to bring it home. As I say, we, said, we talked earlier in the year, this is not an easy championship to win, even though there's not as many GT3 cars as other championships, the quality is good, and the LMP3 is at that extra dimension. Yeah, LMP3 traffic here. Uh, there was, you know, uh, those uh, cars are really, really much quicker than us on the fast corner. And, you know, when actually they overtake us, we have some aero wash, uh, you know, situation to control. So everything's good. And then one go inside you, maybe Arabiata one and two. And the car becomes really light in the front. You can find yourself offline or off the track really quickly. In the same way, you know, you want still to produce very good lap time. And yeah, today I had a couple of laps where I lost so many seconds, but it was just bad timing, and you know, sometimes it goes like that, but uh, try to stay cool, you know, and uh, I, I have the feeling, I think today was a great, a great race for the Michelin Man Cup, you know, we never had a safety car. I think everyone is getting better, and I think that's where the championship should go, and uh, it's, it's, it's great to see all the other drivers in the LMP3 car and in GT3 car as well, everybody's really improving. You can tell it's the end of the season, and now everyone is performing very well. Today, Matt, uh, between Matt and the pole sitter, was two hundreds of a second. So the level and the competition is really, really hard and tight, and it's super cool to see that on TV.